to another episode of Wheelcheck. So this week we're going to be refurbishing some Marchino Impul G5s, bring those back to life, and we're going to check out some more wheels that turned up from Japan. More wheels, good news. Let's have a look. So these Hoshino G5s were sold, but uh, the guy never came through with the money, and blah blah blah, yeah, standard thing. But these are now going to go for a full, I'm going to give them a full dip, rebuild, new hardware, new paint, polish up. Monty's already started on it, good boy. So uh, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, take the bolt, just the bolt, there you go, put it in that hole, put it in there, oh yeah, that's it, very good, that's it, put the bolt in, no in the hole, here, good lad, last one, next hole, it. No. Back in this one. Yeah. Set push. Hey. Well, of you know G5s are back from the dippers. Looking so much better. See a lot more detail in them now. Love the look. You can see the shimmer from the diamond cut finish. I love the logo here. Very cool. Uh, yeah, looking a lot better. I've uh, taken some of the uh, old bow, uh, not bow, see, nut seats out because they were pretty crusty and uh, disgusting. Uh, here we are. So these are what's going in. Nice new ones. But the uh, lips are in really condi good condition, really. Just need a a little bit of a spruce up and a polish, I think. It should come up nice. I'm sure whether where I should uh, sand the faces or not with this kind of with the diamond cut finish. No, whether just a little rub up with the. Oh, these ones are a little bit worse. So they might need a bit of love. But let's see how we go. I think what we've got to do is uh, spray these black first. Spray the inside so black paint goes down inside the logo so that stands out a lot better. These are quite sharp actually. But uh, yeah, let's do this. So I've started pulling some of the hard wire out. I've done them all. And uh, only a couple of bolts snapped. And, uh, and that one there was already snapped. So I was going to get new hardware for this anyway. But these are going to be the first Impulse, I'll show you how new impulse that I've uh, pulled apart because the other ones are normally welded. So, I might need a persuasion overnight with a bit of a uh, penetrant oil. Look at the little mountain of crap come out of each uh, bolt hole. Well, there is, I've been in there a little while. Each one is kind of quite rusted in there, really. This one is not moving, <laughs> so I've had to put some penetrant oil. I'm just gonna have to leave that one overnight. And try again in the morning, I can make a bit more noise. I've been giving it some little taps with a uh, normal hammer that I used to tap out the bases. Yeah, no good. Um, I spoke to Alex at uh, Respect Wheels. He's the, the king of uh, widening and relipping and taking the pieces. These are G5s. And he says a 20 pound sledgehammer. So, uh, yeah, bigger hammer required. Here we are after a meeting with a uh, sledgehammer. Boom. Centers are out. Just literally just uh, spun them over, chunk of wood, hit the wood with the sledgehammer and pop, a couple of hits and they popped out. So uh, what I'll do is, before they go back in, 
Just sand these edges slightly. And then sand on the inside here. Because over the years they just uh, get corroded a little bit and that's why they, they get stuck in there. But they should go back in a little easier than they came out. But yeah, it's nice to see a Shino face separate from the lip and barrel. It's quite cool. So that might polish in these a lot nicer. Mommy. Are you falling and got yourself stuck? So just a little uh, splash of colour on the logo. Give it a quick wipe off. Looks pretty good. So yeah. Just gonna spray the G5 black, these bits black in the middle, and then sand them all up. Nice. So after a uh, bit of 80 grit, 240 grit, and then 1000 grit, it comes up like this, which is kind of like quite, well, quite dull. But then you hit it with a polisher, and it does come up a lot nicer. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sand to 240, and then polish it. Get up as shiny as I can with the 240, and then I'm gonna put it in my uh, spinning hub and I'll give them a brush finish. This I think it looks really good. It's like not too shiny, but it's kind of dull, but it's got some kind of depth. And yeah, so the reason I'm out of breath is I've been polishing this wheel. So this is the one that's uh, face has been done. Properly, so you mean it's got quite a bit of shine still, but it's got kind of a depth to it. I think it looks really cool. And uh, these lips came up quite nice. So, uh, yeah, pleased with that. Just need to uh, kind of respray the uh, black bits again and then get some new hardware on the go. Pretty cool. Righty ho, had another uh, wheel delivery. And uh, we've got eight wheels this time. And uh, first we've got three long champ XR4. These are just the standard 14 by 6.5. But someone in Japan has given this a really nice refurb. It looks so so good. Like the camera can't pick it up. It looks even nicer in person. Really nice job. Kind of annoying because. Uh, to make these <laughs> just as nice otherwise it's going to look bizarre so i'm trying to make a set out of these to sell but, uh, yeah i'll have a go next up we have some water wolf racing uh ra2s very cool wheels these uh, normally the this inner part with the spokes and all this bit is black and then inside the dish Inside the aero disc, sorry, it's black as well. But uh, someone's just gone over the silver, and they look quite good in all silver. Definitely uh, make the design stick out more with the spokes and stuff. It's quite cool. It's got the original caps. They've gone a bit cloudy over the time. Just a shame. This one's this is the design slightly better. Might have to make up new stickers for them. But very. Very cool wheels. They're 14 by 6, I think ET20, and they're made by uh, Bridgestone. See the little uh, Bridgestone logo in there, RA2. And, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, offset. Yeah, 20. They're ET20, 14 by 6. That's what the face is welded in. So they're a two-piece wheel. You've got the barrel and lip as one, and then the uh, centre gets welded in. So, yeah, cool pair of wheels. I've actually got one more coming, but uh, there's a new old stock that's never been used. And it's all the original paint and everything, and original cap. So that one's gonna go up into the, the wheel display somewhere. I'll make room for it. Uh, it's a worthy, worthy wheel to join the crew. We have a wheel that 
You might not have seen before. You might not recognise. Quite similar to some other horse bikes out there. Quite a simple, simple design really. But this should help. Yeah. It's actually part of the uh, Equip series. This is the Equip Silhouette. Uh, it's quite cool. It's got this little cutout bits and this little uh, just kind of little fin parts that join the uh, spokes up. But yeah, this wheel is in the same series as the uh, Spirit 33 and Spirit 11. As you can see, it's kind of grubby and it's definitely been sat somewhere. Possibly outside for a little while. Good, good clean up. Yeah, sticker. Well, the info's gone on it. Just might see the, some of the text on it. Well, it was quite cool. It's, it actually has a look a little indentation where the uh, cap sits. The rest of them don't actually have that. They just sit on these little bases. Proud of the uh, base. So that's. Rest. But yeah, I'm gonna clean this up. Hopefully, get it a lot shinier. And, uh, repaint these inner bits. Get it looking good again. Uh, check it on the display. Just a quick buzz with the uh, sander. Already gets cooler. Uh, Progress. Now it's time for the main event. Some power wheels I've been searching for for a long time. I've actually had to sell a set of wheels to afford this pair. ENS Casablanca Mesh. Absolutely in love with these. I've wanted a pair for so long. They're just the prettiest mesh. Really, really cool. They do a really good job of hiding where the uh, bolts go. It just blends in with all the rest of these little pockets. Obviously, this pair seen in life and <laughs> definitely been outside. Fate of those uh, nut seats. So, uh, but the anodise has stayed on pretty well. Still looking good. Need a little bit of a wash. Can possibly spray the inner bits satin black again because uh, they're a bit shiny and I want the gold to pop out a bit a bit more. This one's still got the original lip sticker which is quite cool so I can take that off and replicate that for when they get relipped. I'm going to order some 4.5 inch lips for these so they should have the same sort of lips as those on them, which will look awesome. And Barrel Bros do uh, some caps for these because they look exactly like the XR4 caps, but the XR4 cap is way too small for it, which is really strange. Especially as these are, are they ENS? I think they're made by Speedstar for ENS. So, quite strange, we're going to have a slightly different cap, but looks the same. Yeah, these need a bit of love, a bit of polishing, a bit of painting, but I'm going to spend some nice time on these. On Celica. I'll, I'll try and find another pair, but I'm not sure. I could always get the spokes anodized, gold, the R109, or even Spirit 11s. I've got a pair of these, a little skinny pair of sixes. So, get these relipped. Just to run a cool mismatch. Because I did run Spirit 11s and Spirit. Uh, Spirit 11s and R109 for quite some years. No one really noticed. I mean, obviously, no one's, not as many people are as into wheels as I am. Some of them just, some of them just say they all look the same. But yeah, when you get so far into it, you know what's what. Very cool, very happy. Yes, I love them.
What really took me back when I picked these up, I normally pick things up by the uh, cat hole and you put your fingers through and they're so thin. This like, I don't know, 30, 30 mil maximum thickness of the face. It's really weird. If you can see that. They're so skinny. I've not I've got like another wheel like it. The inside is really odd looking. It's not nice at all. It's obviously got these strengthening ribs in different places, but yeah, very, very strange wheel on the inside. But yeah, unbelievably skinny. Take something like this, this equip. You've got a big chunk here. It's, you know, it's huge. This one, really skinny. It's bizarre. It feels like it shouldn't be strong enough to hold a car, but obviously it is. Yeah. Strange. Just uh, popped out those seats. Pretty good inside, so not too worried. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just a load of crumbly muck. Let's get some new ones in there. Quick update on the Hayashi commands. So I've got one six and a half done and one seven done. And I am very pleased how these have come out. Basically I've polished the faces and then I've put them on my uh, spinning hub. Give them that kind of, give them a slight brush so they're not proper shiny shiny, they just have like a little kind of glossiness to them. And I think I'm going to do this to all my wheels from now on, because they look brilliant. It's kind of like new, refurbished, but it's not quite as shiny as shiny. You get what I'm saying? Because when they're too shiny, it just doesn't look very authentic and it looks just too chromey. But these are the original anodized lips. I'd much prefer to the uh, shiny lips. Really cool. Can't wait to uh, chuck some tires on these. See what they look like on the Celica. And then one day I will go wider lips, but I'm going to get them re anodized. So the uh, original kind of style stays too true. Pretty cool things. I like it. There you are.